Greetings. Not all of us can create chromatic aberration by using looks, because not all of us have looks. So here's how to create chromatic aberration in After Effects with our plugins. So let's turn off our adjustment layers and turn off looks. Then I'll select our main layer, our beauty layer, and I will duplicate that three times. Now, each one of these copies, I will apply the effect Shift Channels to. You can find it in Channels, Shift Channels. And then I will turn off all the color channels except for one per layer. So the first layer gets to keep the red channel. And I'll copy that effect and apply that to the next layer. And that layer gets to keep the green channel. So I will turn off the red channel, set the green channel to green. Again, copy that effect and apply it to the next copy we had. And there I will turn off all channels except for the blue one, which I set to the blue channel. Now we have three layers here, one with the red channel, one with the green and one with the blue channel. So if I select those and I set the mode to add a screen, we get the exact same picture we started with. I will also uh, rename the layers, so this one's R for red and this one's G for green and this is B for blue. Now to create this chromatic aberration, what we want to do is offset the layers slightly. We could scale the layers up, but I'm going to use an effect called Optics Compensation. Now, Optics Compensation is basically created to compensate for uh, lens distortion on footage. So we can use that to stretch our image either inwards, or if we reverse the lens distortion, we can stretch it outwards as well. And we will do both of those. Now I'm going to start by stretching the red channel outwards. So I will reverse the lens distortion and set it to like 15, which is probably going to be too much. But then I'll copy the effect and apply that to the blue channel as well. Then uncheck the reverse distortion checkbox so it stretches inwards. And so if I unsolo this, you can see. If I zoom in a bit, you can see that we have something like chromatic aberration. And as I said, 15 is probably too much. I'll turn that down to 8. Should be fine. And do the same for the blue channel as well. Yeah, that creates a chromatic aberration. But now we've got this little yellow edge here. So what we'll do next is go to the blue channel, which stretches inwards and apply a reptile effect and just add that before the optics compensation and then just expand a bit on all sides and set that to unfold and that gets rid of that edge and that's basically how you can create chromatic aberration in After Effects without using any plugins hopefully you can find uh, some use for this well, if there's anything you'd like to learn or you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. But for now, thanks for your time, and until next time, stay in motion.